I guess today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, doing a review on the new Matthews DXR 3.1.5. One thing I want to point out is that this bow is actually, the riser length on this bow is actually longer than the Traverse. It's actually an inch and three quarters longer than what the Traverse was. Um, so this bow was actually a more stable and more forgiving platform than what the Traverse is. Um, another thing is, is this bow is faster than what the Traverse was. Uh, this bow is a little bit stiffer on the draw socket than what the Traverse was. If I had to pick between the Traverse and this bow, it'd be this bow. The finish on this bow was awesome. We've had we've had the OD green in the shop and it looked awesome. The OD green is uh, a fantastic finish. Um, this bow was the black with the stone riser and it looked awesome. The draw cycle on this bow, like I said, was a little bit stiff. Um, it was 65 pounds and it fell out from about 12 inches all the way back into the valley. I was holding 65 pounds. But for all the Matthew guys that's been shooting Matthews for a while, you're kind of used to that system. But I thought, I mean, it felt it, it's a smooth system. There's no dump into the valley or into the back wall. Uh, the back wall is solid for a string stop system. The letdown's easy on this bow. I mean, they don't grip your shoulder out of the socket. Um, there's no vibration in the bow. This is the upper of my top three hunting bows. This bow is amazing. I mean, you need to get down to your dealer and shoot one. When I was doing this review, I wanted to look up and see what a lot of people was talking about. And a lot of people was talking about how they would pick the Traverse over this bow because of the actual action went. And that's the one big thing I wanted to point out was this bow is actually more forgiving and more stable than what the Traverse would be. Just because of the riser length is actually longer than what the Traverse is. So if you went down and you shot this bow next to the Traverse, I'm pretty sure you would pick this bow. All right guys, so uh, this is my review of the Matthews VXR 31.5. Uh, I appreciate it if you guys uh, subscribed if you haven't yet. Like the channel, scroll down, look at the rest of the bow reviews, watch your hunting uh, videos from last year, and uh, hit the little bell icon to get notified for the rest of the videos coming up. Uh, I want to say thanks for watching the videos. See you next time.